Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. We're gonna start you with about a two minute story here. See how fast I can polish this. Uh, I've been drag racing for about, probably since 2009 with my dad. And we've had several cars over the years. Um, I used to have a 70 Cuda. Y'all, I've shared it in a few videos. Uh, he raced a 72 Swinger until he got a 67 uh, Notchback Barracuda. It was a lot faster than our other cars. We still got it. Drew's got it. Um, and we'll race it someday when it's ready. We'll bring it back out. But uh, reason for the story, when I was like, mm, I guess 25, 24, 25, uh, he got that notchback Barracuda. Maybe I was 26. I don't remember. He got the notchback Barracuda. And I was off at college for the week. You know, like I was a career, uh, what do they call that? Career student or something. Professional student. And uh, while I was off at college, he decides he's going to take the wheels off of my 70 Cuda because they are 14 inch wide and put them on his Barracuda. He just wanted to see what they would look like. Or, I don't remember what the deal was, but uh, that's what I was told. And then when I got home, his wheels were on my car. And I was like, what did you do? Oh, I was just trying your wheels. Oh, you know, I need them wheels. Uh. And I'm, I was mad. And here I am today. He's no longer with us. Um, polishing the wheels from his 72 Swinger came off the back of it to go on my 68 Barracuda. What do you think about that? Have a little fun payback a few years later. That's the story. Let's go look at the wheels. What do you think about that? Nicely fills up the tubs. Both sides. Straight edge. Got about uh, inch and a half. Clear it through, I don't think. Yeah, see I can't can't turn my square sideways. But that's plenty of room. And then that much room in there. These are this is the perfect wheel for this car. Um, hey, Mike could go to a 14 inch and move it out a little in a little, whatever, but this is perfect. I don't need a 14. I didn't really need a 12, but I got these wheels. I just told you the story and we're going to use them. They've won a bunch of races. I even happened to have some new tires. I went to go see the slick ferry. These are about six month old. I'll call them a year old. Um, Hoosiers. They are a 29105W15. And guy tried them on his car, didn't like them. He runs pro, what do they call them? Pro bracket radials or something. Bought these to try, put them on for a weekend, and that was it. I won't tell you what I paid for them, but you'd be mad at me if you knew, because it was a excellent deal so i'm gonna get one of those mounted up on a wheel now and oh i got yeah tubes included uh pretty baby powder that's a two dollars worth of baby powder i'm gonna get them mounted up on the wheels stuck on the car and be sure everything fits before i do both of them so y'all can watch me struggle so new tires or not i like to inspect them very carefully this one is obviously full of baby powder but see that sticker right there i don't leave that in my tires I believe that eventually could rub a hole in the tube. I don't, I don't like that at all. There's another piece. There's enough baby powder in here for 10 tires, but I understand the premise. You don't want it helped keep the uh, tube from sticking to the tire, etc. I'm gonna get these cleaned up when we start.
ammo. Ammo. Hey. Hey. Get up in there. Bump it one time. Go ahead and air. Air them up a couple times like that. Let that tube kind of unravel inside. No trash anywhere around the bead, nothing like that. I didn't even turn my compressor on. It's probably on 80 pounds or something, but. I got three pounds in it right now. You can see it's it's lumpy, but it ain't uh it's not all the way up. I went ahead and mixed up a little soapy water. Some people cry and moan and say, "Don't ever use soapy water on a slick." What are you doing? But I'd rather go ahead and ease onto there. Stand it up like this. I'm not being excessive with it. Or anything. It's not running into the wheel. See so it go down right there. That's, it's just lubing where I want it to lube. So let's air it up. Wow. Still on the back side. Back side's not there yet. these seat beads i don't think it normally needs that much but 14 so i know it acted like it was taking a long time it's just because this tire is such a big diameter that was mounted i can stick it out of the car and see if it fits now Oh, that's nice. Well, there it is. I did go ahead and put jack stand on the frame so I could let that axle down some. Let me go ahead and jack it up into place now until it comes off the jack stands. That's it. I think they're tucked very nicely. They don't look excessively wide. I got a mile of room here. It's a little tighter back there, but there's no way that tire would grow that much. Lots of room all around. And I think they look better. Plenty of room inside. That's it. I'm gonna get the other one mounted up and let her down the ground. Well, there it is. I didn't want to roll it all the way outside because I'd have to start it up and drive it back in. My neighbors are having a party, so I won't mess with them. I like that a lot better. Yeah, it looks good. I appreciate y'all watching. Got more stuff to come with this. I may have to go ahead and uh, do that rear end next. I noticed I've got a puddle. It was in line with that pinion. You can see how it's, there's a little drip right there. Probably a seal, but uh, I'll check that bearing whenever I get that pinion out. Anyway, thank you all for watching.